aren't we kind of doomed? You know, if you assume, I don't know, even 0.1% chance every year that we're eradicating ourselves, you know, and, and quite frankly, the more I go through time, the, the higher this likelihood kind of goes, you know, with nuclear weapons, well, with I mean, viruses, with everything, so you know? You have to look at the past and try to project from the past to the future, but there are several different ways to frame that. So one way to frame it is say, look, life on earth has lasted for four and a half billion years, or at least four billion years. So the chance that it will suddenly end in the next thousand years got to be pretty small if it's lasted for four billion years. Mm. That is now. You could say, well, maybe we were just lucky to last this long, and maybe the chance of making it this far was actually much smaller, but still, that 4 billion years compared to 1,000 years is, again, you know, that's a factor of, what, 4 million, which means it's, if we were just a random time in the history of civilization, of Earth's life, it would be very unlikely for life to end very soon. Another way of thinking about this is in terms of growth of, say, you know, brains and then humans and civilization. And then you might think the chance of various things going wrong would happen at each doubling <laughs> over time. And since we've been doubling much faster lately, you might say, well, the doublings we have yet to go through in the near future, those are doublings that could well have disasters waiting for us. And then the chance goes much higher because yes, we've gone through many doublings, but we still have many doublings to go. You can go further and say, look, every civilization in his, human history has risen and fallen. We are now a global civilization, so we're likely to fall. That doesn't mean we'll go extinct, though. It just plausibly means civilization will fall in the next few centuries. When you think about things going wrong, the great filter is about things that not only make things go wrong, but then permanently go wrong. I, I guess what I was trying to say, you know, it's much easier to survive as a species or, or not kill each other as a species if we're not so interconnected, right? If there's, I don't know, there's one tribe in, in, in Rome, there's another oh, tribe in China. Right, well, that, and, that's and now the, we're so connected, right. right? So in the past, each civilization rose and fell, but there were no globally spanning civilizations. Mm -hmm. So the globe rose relatively steadily, even though civilizations rose and fell. Now that we are a single globally interconnected civilization, then the processes in the past that made civilizations rise and fall would much more plausibly apply to the globe, including a coming fall. So in a way, are you optimistic or pessimistic? Well, there are different <laughs> questions and I can be optimistic on some and pessimistic on the others, really. So, you know, I think pessimistic, yes, our civilization is probably going to fall. Mm -hmm. But that's not extinction, optimism. Okay, then in the longer run, rising and falling, I see a chance for maybe several rise and falls of civilization to continue and to rise overall, which is what we've seen in the past. 